I'm not proud. I'm not speaking during the Republican presidential candidate's campaign. So how to start this essay? Well, the truth, of course. The truth will set you free. But the truth is that Nikki Haley's campaign revival is just unbelievable and horrible. I thought no one expected much, I'm sure. And this, this almost seems like a parody. Let's first look at the word step forward. What does this word mean to you? Yes, there is a fairy tale by Ira Levin, the step forward wife. I'm not talking about a wife. I know he is a candidate from step forward. That's good. I feel like I'm watching a rabble rouser happily reading from a damn teleprompter. With a techie smile looking for a beautiful taste, Haley would have had a great move. But it broke everything to speak. Sodder. Whoever made this horrible video that doesn't say anything about anything related to what he will do as president. He was talking about wearing heels. In Wakeism, what's next? Will he imitate Ted Cruz and start reading green eggs and ham? Haley said she can't stand bullies. He spoke the truth. He sits for them, opens doors for them, smiles at them, protects them, and flows them. Haley also chose to release this video the day after the mass shooting in Michigan. I think he had a bad time here. Everything is wrong. That doesn't mean he isn't a potential threat. Not because he will win. But because I believe Haley knows she has no chance in hell and wants to be vice president. It would make sense. We already have a step forward male VP in Mike Pence. I think he thought we were ready for the step forward woman in him. All in all, this migration shows that women are not very close to America in all matters.